Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing another page with the Stable Woodies and this time I'm working in my handmade um, back to back bound art journal. I made a video on how I made this journal and I will link this up in the top right corner info box. I have just sewed the pages and now I'm scribbling the Woodies all over the page. I'm using autumn colors because I wanted to create an autumn page. If you don't have the Stabilo Woodies, you can use any kind of water soluble crayon, for example the Neo Colors or the Scribble Sticks. Now I'm blending the background together using water with a brush and of course you have to be a little bit careful not to mix all the colors completely together because this would create mud. Um, I just blend the areas. So I am a bit careful not to mix in the brown everywhere and not to mix the green too much. I let that dry and then I add some splatters. I just scribble the booties onto my glass plate and then I add water and create some splatters on the background. I think splatters are perfect for an autumn page because when you have a closer look at some autumn leaves you will always see that they have some dots in different colors. I'm using all the colors I've already used on the background. I let this background dry completely because I want to go on top with some embossing and therefore it has to be bone dry because you don't want to have the embossing powder sticking anywhere else than to your stamp. And here I'm stamping some of my leaf stamps with Versamark ink. 
As always, I will link up every stem set I'm using here in the video description. It's always a bit hard to see where I've already stamped, so I just put it at an angle and then you can see the glossy ink. When I'm done with the stamping, I'm adding a layer of clear embossing powder. When you're heat setting the embossing powder, you have to make sure that you he have heat set every single edge of your stems. Because I missed two edges of the leaves, it was so hard to see with the clear powder and the colorful background. And I was a bit disappointed afterwards because I didn't see that there were some areas where the powder wasn't melted. I let the page cool down a little bit before I go in with the black woodies and I just scribbled the black color onto the glass plate and now I go in with a brush. The embossing acts as a resist against the watercolors and that means that you um, can see the stamped images when you're adding the black color. And here on the top I missed some parts of that leaf with melting and I'm a bit disappointed because I am sure it would have looked much better. But I really like this technique and I will definitely try this again, maybe with another theme or with other colors. As always, I have linked up my blog post where I have uploaded some close-up images. I also decided to add in a little bit of the violet to create some different shades of the darker areas. When everything is dry, I'm using a baby wipe and I wipe away the leftover black paint from the leaves.
I now go in with the woodies directly and add some scribbly lines to the page. I picked my main images or my main image. This is a tree from our Four Seasons stamp set and I have colored it in with the Arteza tree markers and I cut it out. And here I'm sticking it down using glossy accents. I also glued down the letters I have stamped to a jelly printed background and I just adhered them with a glue stick and now I try to create a little autumn scene with the tree and therefore I just create kind of a ground for my tree. I wanted to create a little scene where with some bushes and I'm using some of these wheat stamps here and I wanted to stamp them with the woodies which normally works really good but my spray bottle um, didn't give me a good mist so um, I had a big blob of water on it and it just um, didn't give me the right impression of the stamp so I decided to clean this up a little bit and then use normal stamping ink. I also decided to pick a violet ink together with the other stamp to create some various colors. I use a baby wipe again to clean up the leaves because I add some stamping ink to them. And that was my page for today. I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope we will see us next time. Have a wonderful Sunday. Bye!